Harnessing wind power is no longer reserved for large-scale wind farms. The Canadian company called The Power Collective seems to have made an absolute breakthrough for home wind turbines to complement solar power in the dark and cloudy season. Because a 15 kilowatt hour peak solar system that supplies the whole house in the sunny season produces only a fraction of the energy in the winter. This is exactly where home wind turbines come into play to provide 100% off-grid energy independence all year long as the seasonality of wind and solar perfectly complements each other. The Ridgeblade rooftop wind turbine is an innovative and efficient design that perfectly merges with the design of the house and has the lowest visual impact. But what's really special is that it utilizes the Aeolian wind focus effect to produce 220% more energy. In addition, this turbine can generate electricity even during hurricanes, while large wind turbines must be switched off to prevent self-destruction. This is a unique feature as storms are becoming stronger and more frequent due to climate change. So, what is the Ridgeblade system all about? What's the cost of this turbine? And is an investment really worthwhile? We have everything you need to know about the Ridgeblade system covered in this video. By doubling the wind speed, the energy content of the wind increases by eightfold, according to the wind power equation. This is the reason why grid scale turbines get bigger and bigger to harness the fast and continuous winds at high altitudes. Furthermore, the enlargement leads to an increase in rotor surface area, resulting in a significantly higher electricity yield. So small wind turbines have theoretically a decisive tactical disadvantage. But this isn't the case for the ridge blade system. Its distinctive design combines several unique features to generate a considerable amount of energy. And the first essential aspect is the so-called Aeolian wind focus effect. So how does this effect work? Aeolus is the god of the winds in Greek mythology, whereas Aeolian processes are related to the influence of wind and weather on the landscape, specifically the wind's ability to shape the Earth's surface. However, the ridge blade utilizes the wind focus effect to generate 220% more energy by taking full advantage of a typical pitched roof. As the wind hits a pitched roof, it is forced to travel over the roof surface. The wind speeds up towards the pitch, forming a pinch point at the roof ridge. Imagine a funnel channeling the wind. As a result, the measured wind speed around the ridge can be just over three times the actual wind speed. For instance, with a roof pitch of 15 degrees, the wind speed multiplies 1.2 times, corresponding to a wind speed increase of 20%. The optimal roof slope of 45 degrees, on the other hand, more than doubles the wind speed by 2.2 times, which is an increase of 120%. Placing the turbine in this high flow area means that up to nine times the energy is available for the ridge blade turbine. By harnessing this effect, the ridge blade has incredible potential to make home wind turbines economical. But what makes the ridge blade really stand out is its ability to operate during a storm. Because the biggest disadvantage of conventional turbines is that they have to be switched off and stopped mechanically during a storm. Otherwise, they would completely destroy themselves as the rotational mass would tear the device apart. And no one wants such a projectile placed in the garden or on the house roof. Vertical designs like the Harmony Turbine close mechanically to protect themselves during higher wind speeds. This means that especially when there is a lot of wind energy available, these systems cannot be operated. And this is the ridge blade's biggest advantage. The installed box hides a very unusual rotor system which cannot be classified as classical horizontal and vertical axes. In contrast to conventional turbines, which usually have three rotor blades, the ridge blade consists of many vertically arranged small rotor blades, reminiscent of a water wheel. This design allows it to cover a larger area of the wind and thus achieve higher efficiency. Furthermore, its patented design uses advanced aerodynamics to prevent noise and vibration, can withstand turbulent air conditions commonly found in urban environments, and is designed to self-limit the speed of the rotor. The rotor blades regulate themselves because the distance between them leads to flow separation and a loss of torque at high wind speeds. So the maximum rotational speed of the turbine doesn't exceed 25 meters per second, even in severe storm conditions. 
This way, the ridge blade can generate energy and wind speeds over 100 miles per hour. That's about the wind speed of a Hurricane Category 2. Additionally, the ridge blade has a lower rotational mass than conventional wind turbines. This is an important detail as it is the main reason for a turbine's self-destruction. So, if it's such a great system, why don't we already see this wind turbine everywhere? This brings us to the problems of the ridge blade system. The company only cooperates through an accredited partner network, so the system isn't available through an online shop or anywhere else. The only way to purchase is through the accredited partners, usually architects' offices they work with. And there are only six worldwide, which is very disappointing for such a revolutionary system. Anyway, we've contacted all of the accredited architects to find out the price, and it will absolutely shock you. The Ridgeblade system is available in three different versions, the RB1 for residential buildings, the RB2 for commercial customers, and a hybrid system including solar panels. According to the Power Collective, the hybrid system provides enough energy in windy regions to supply an entire off-grid family home all year long with energy when a 10 kilowatt hour storage system is added. One of the RB1 residential can produce 2 kilowatts of clean power at a 2.7 kilowatt peak. Therefore, a standard system of 7 RB1 would be capable of producing 7.000 kilowatt hours over the course of a year at 6 meters per second average wind speeds. Whereas in windier regions, it would provide even more energy. So it is particularly important to track the average wind speed of your location to check whether wind turbines even make sense. Globalwindatlas.com is a website where you can track real-time wind speeds of any location worldwide to get your average wind speed. But what's the cost of such a ridgeblade system? An accredited architect installing the ridgeblade system quoted the price for 7RB1 as starting at 45,000 euro. And that's only the price for the materials without the system being installed. Adding an estimated 5,000 euro for installation, we get a price tag of 50,000 euro or about $53,000. Imagine how many solar panels you could add for the same money. Furthermore, wind turbines require regular maintenance to ensure proper function and deliver maximum performance. After all, we have mechanical moving parts resulting in greater wear than solar systems. That's the big disadvantage of wind turbines, as at least 1% maintenance cost has to be calculated every year. This translates to about $530 per year for bearings, shafts, and rotor blades, which must be replaced at some point. With all of that, it sounds like adding wind to your home today doesn't make sense, but it does depend on your goals and where you live. Coastline regions, or the mid-US, are examples of regions with a lot of wind energy available all year long, with average wind speeds often exceeding 8.5 meters per second. If you're building an off-grid home in such an area, it may make sense to diversify your energy generation between solar and wind. At least, data suggests that wind is the best complementary energy source to solar. This graph, for example, shows the hourly energy production of wind and solar, perfectly complementing each other during a whole day in California. When solar energy production drops to zero at night, wind energy production increases significantly, as seen in this comparison. Another important aspect is seasonality. Wind power production increases when solar production decreases significantly from October to March. So, complementing solar with wind energy might be the perfect solution. But as of today, solar seems to be the more cost-effective solution. The ridge blade is still in its very early stages. By scaling mass production, the cost of the ridge blade could fall massively and may make much more sense. However, there are also other promising cheaper wind turbine designs we will report about in this channel. So definitely make sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon to not miss out on any news and updates. In the meanwhile, watch how a solar panel made of organic waste revolutionizes the solar industry. In contrast to traditional solar panels, it doesn't require direct sunlight, which would end the seasonality of solar.